just going to show you how quickly you can make these clean eating um, recipes that Marissa and I have been coming up with. Tonight I'm going to make asparagus and prosciutto stuffed chicken and it really will only take about five minutes to prepare the whole meal. Okay, so I have some chicken cutlets. I do normally weigh them when I get them, so they're about four ounces each, so they would count as one red. And then I have my asparagus that came pre-washed. I did rinse them, and I'm just using some cheese sticks for the cheese, because it's honestly just um, quicker for me. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take one chicken cutlet and one piece of prosciutto, about five asparagus and a piece of mozzarella cheese. And I'm just basically, the first step is I'm going to roll the asparagus and cheese in the prosciutto. And then I will wrap the chicken around it. So I'm not going crazy. I'm not pounding my chicken. I'm just trying to get this dinner on the table for my family. And I know it'll be delicious regardless of if I pound it or not. So I'm just going to go through all of that. And do one more. Grab my cheese, my asparagus. Roll it all up and wrap the chicken around it. And then just secure it. Sometimes you may need to use two toothpicks. Just remember that you put them in there. Okay, so now I'm just going to make a topping or a little sauce to put on top of the chicken. I'm going to use half a lemon, the juice from half a lemon. If you don't have one of these uh, handy lemon juicers, I recommend getting one because they really get all of the juice out of the lemon. Um, I'm going to use some garlic infused olive oil and I'm going to use, this recipe is going to make seven servings, so I'm going to use uh, three and a half teaspoons so that this way for this recipe I'm counting the oil as a half teaspoon of oil. And then I'm going to use some of this garlic, which is another shortcut. I'm going to use like about a half a tablespoon of the garlic. This is awesome. It's already cut. gives great flavor. Um, and I'll add that. Just mix it up here. And it's just like a little sauce to put on the top. If you want, you could add a little bit of um, water with it, but it's totally not necessary. And I'm just going to drizzle it on the top, make sure each one gets a little bit. This is a little lonely guy over here. Now, the other thing that I like to do is I like to use like some seasoned salt or some like some of these seasonings that you can grind. So this one's like a lemon pepper one. And I'm gonna do this on this individual cutlet here and on half of these cutlets. And then I have a rosemary, a Spanish rosemary infused sea salt. And I'm going to put that one on the other ones because this is two dinners for me. This is not just one dinner. So, um, for my family, we're going to have this two nights, so I want to make sure that I'm changing it up a bit. I'm going to just get some fresh pepper for these. So these are rosemary, garlic, lemon, and then these are like a lemon pepper. All right, so those are all set. I'm going to bake them in the oven um, at 350, probably about 30 minutes, and I'll let you guys see what they look like. When I'm okay, so we're going to have the asparagus and prosciutto, mozzarella, stuffed chicken, and then I'm also making some baked potatoes. Um, I don't know how familiar you all are with baking potatoes, but the best way to do it is to put olive oil, sea salt, and then bake them for about an hour at 500. They really come out delicious. You can eat the skin. They're fabulous. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, if you remember, I used half a teaspoon of oil per cutlet before. So I want to use my other half teaspoon. So I have six potatoes here, so I'm going to use three teaspoons. 
of oil and I'm just like drizzling it on top of them right now um, and you'll see what I do. I'm gonna get a little messy in a minute. So three teaspoons of olive oil and then I have my sea salt which I'll grind and the fork is here to remind me that I need to poke holes in my potatoes. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to massage the potatoes and rub in the olive oil. So I'm probably not getting the whole half teaspoon, you know, per potato here, but I like to play it safe with my teaspoons. I think that oil has, you know, good calories, but still a lot of calories, and um, I don't want to go over. You can also see that my potatoes are different sizes, so I'm going to have to decide, you know, how I'm counting them. I would say that this little guy over here would probably be like maybe one yellow, but something like this would be one and a half yellows. So I just have to remember to poke some holes. My daughter's calling me. Um, one second, Gabriella. Poke a couple holes, and then I'm just gonna put them right onto a baking sheet and bake them at 500 for about an hour. These are like a little bit smaller some of than some of the potatoes that I do. So these might be able to go a little bit less, more like 45 minutes. All right, so we'll be back with these also so that you can see. And here we have it. It is all done now, our stuffed chicken and our um, <clears throat> baked potatoes. The baked potatoes are kind of like crispy. I don't know if you can tell, but they're going to be delicious. So enjoy, do some cooking. Um, I would count this as one red, um, maybe a little bit more because of the slice of prosciutto, but uh, one and a quarter red, uh, one green, and one half blue for the chicken. And depending on how much potato I have, it'd be between like one and one and a half yellows. All right, enjoy.